Here's the problem. There are 88 million homes in the United States and Canada alone that burn twice as much fuel for heating and electricity for cooling than they have to. They leak far too much air, are woefully under-insulated, and have energy-wasting building assemblies, such as ducts in the attic, cathedral ceilings, cantilevered floors, rooms over garages, vented crawl spaces, leaky can lights, knee wall assemblies, and much more. As heat leaks out of a home uncontrolled or into a home uncontrolled, your heating and air conditioning system runs much more. And often, you experience uncomfortable rooms, too hot in the summer or too cold and drafty in the winter. Mommy, I'm cold. But can we fix this problem? Of course we can. But why wouldn't every homeowner have their home fixed right away? One reason, cost. A typical project to make your home more comfortable and energy efficient may cost $7,500. The work may include air sealing, insulation, sealing and insulating ductwork, fixing leaky can lights, fixing knee wall spaces, fixing dirt crawl spaces, fixing cantilevered floors and rooms over garages, or any number of other problems in a home. But does it really cost $7,500? Does it cost anything at all? It turns out when you make a home more comfortable by controlling heat flow out in the winter and in in the summer, you lower the cost of homeownership by reducing the fuel and electric bills. Of course, the repair cost and savings numbers will vary based on how big your house is and what you have done to it. But on average, by reducing the heating and cooling costs by 35% for the average 2,200 square foot American home, will yield a savings of $1,300 per year. It's even more as you move north or for a bigger house. So, after 12 months, we have saved $1,300 and only have $6,200 invested. After 24 months, we've saved $2,600 and have $4,900 remaining invested. After three years, we've saved $3,900 and have $3,600 invested. After four years, we have saved $5,200 and have only $2,300 invested in the project. After five years, we have saved $6,500 and only have $1,000 left in our investment. And after six years, which are going to pass in any event, we have saved the full amount of the project. So after you get all your money back after six years, then what? Well, each year, while being more comfortable at home, you'll save an additional $1,300 on your investment. In this very real example, that's a 17% guaranteed tax-free rate of return. And where else can you find an investment like that these days? In fact, as fuel and electric prices go up, you'll save even more than that. But what if a homeowner does not fix their inefficient, uncomfortable house because they don't want to spend the money? Well, then each year they'll continue to pay $1,300 more than they should on fuel for heating and electricity for cooling. After two years, they spent $2,600 more than needed. After three years, they spent $3,900 more on fuel and electricity costs than they had to and they still have an uncomfortable home. After four years, they have spent $5,200 additional on fuel and electric costs for heating and cooling, all unnecessarily. After five years, they have spent $6,500 extra on fuel and electricity. And after six years, they have spent the full amount that the job would have cost, 
even though they didn't get it. And all that time they have lived in an uncomfortable home. It turns out that this project is one that you're going to pay for whether you get it or not. Let's explore the impact on our natural resources and the environment. Just how much natural gas does a home need to keep it heated? I'd like to get some natural gas to heat my house, please. And uh, how long would you like to heat it for? Uh, about one minute. That'll be two cents, Mac. Here you go. Well, I, I see the gas, but what's this? That's carbon, Mac. It comes with the gas. I don't want the carbon. Sorry, it comes with it. So what am I supposed to do with it? Mac, that's your problem. Most people just watch it go right up the chimney. It turns out when natural gas, propane, or heating oil is burned, it's combined with oxygen to produce other gases, mostly carbon dioxide and water vapor. For each cubic foot of natural gas burned, one cubic foot of carbon dioxide, weighing 2.2 ounces, is produced and sent into the atmosphere up your chimney. In the winter, how much natural gas your home needs to keep it heated depends on how much air it leaks and how well it's insulated. I'll take one hour's worth. Sure, Mac. That'll be 95 cents, please. There you go. Thank you. Here's your carbon, and here's your gas. In fact, on a typical cold winter day, your home burns 1,700 cubic feet of natural gas to keep it heated. And this produces 206 pounds of carbon dioxide, which is expelled into the atmosphere up your chimney. By burning this gas or oil, we release its BTU content. There are 97 cubic feet in one therm of natural gas, which contains 100,000 BTUs. One BTU is the amount of heat necessary to heat one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. The efficiency rating of your furnace determines how many of those BTUs that you paid for go into your duct system to your rooms and how many go up the chimney. If you have a common 80% efficient gas furnace, at least 20% of the BTUs that you paid for with the fuel you bought goes up your chimney. That's 20% inefficiency right off the top by design. Then there are distribution losses. The furnace burns gas or oil to make heat, but we don't want the heat at the furnace, we want it in our rooms. So we have a duct system to take the heat from the furnace to our rooms. Plenty of heat is lost through this duct system before it gets to our rooms. Leaks to the attic, leaks to the crawl space, leaks to wall and floor assemblies where it can leak out of the house. Then there are building envelope losses. Warm air rises in the house and leaks out the top in never-ending streams. This creates a suction at the bottom of the house that draws new cold outside air in. Then we have to run the furnace, burning more fuel to heat that new generation of air, only to have it leak out. This causes our furnace to run a lot more and burn even more fuel. And without enough insulation in our floors, ceilings, and walls, our rooms are cold boxes. And when we put warm air into that cold box, the box cools the air. This means we have to run the furnace even more, burning even more fuel. If we fix these problems in your home, on average, over six years, you will save the full amount of money that that job cost. You'll have a more comfortable home to live in. You will save 400,000 cubic feet of natural gas and prevent 26 tons of carbon dioxide going into the environment from your home. By contrast, to save that much money each year, and to prevent that much carbon dioxide from going into the environment by installing solar panels, you'd have to invest $26,000, nearly four times as much. 
It turns out some big answers to our problems may not start out with high price technology at all, but just specialized knowledge to do the right things to our homes. You know, I, I actually don't need this much anymore. I'll come back and fix my house. Are you really sure? Yep. And what if we could fix 50 homes in your neighborhood? Over 25 years, each homeowner would save $40,000. And collectively, they would burn 100 million less cubic feet of natural gas. If they were heated with oil, those 50 homes would save 25,000 gallons each year, or 625,000 gallons over 25 years. Over 25 years, these 50 homes would send 7,200 tons less carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And if every home in the United States and Canada was fixed, we would save $131 billion in fuel costs. This is not a government issue. This is a homeowner issue. I think we'd all like to make great investments. I think we'd all like to be more comfortable at home. And if we could, I think we all like to save natural resources and do something good for the environment. It turns out fixing your home is the area where you can have the greatest impact and do all four. And over just a little time, it's free. Thousands of homeowners, your neighbors, have already discovered this and fixed their homes. What about your home? Let's get started, shall we? Thank you.